What up, Lakin Nation? I'm sorry I didn't get to you guys early. I wanted to uh, put a blog out right after the draft last night. I'm happy we had a good draft. Uh, Brandon Ingram, the truth. As far as the 32nd pick, I don't know nothing about him, so it's not really much I'm going to say about him. I don't like speaking on things I don't know. But y'all know what we got. Zilbert, seven from, from Croatia, 19 years old. That's all I know about him. But um, I'm happy. We had a good draft for Ingram. And me personally, I wanted that who was left on the board, Diamond Stone or Patrick McGraw or A.J. Hammonds. Oh, this they were here. Did <clears throat> excuse me, got a little cold and I'm a little tired also. But go to state warriors. They have a good organization. They had two key pickups. They picked Damon Jones with the 30th, and then traded for uh, Patrick McGraw. Patrick McGraw can be a good player. He reminds me somewhat of Tre Trevor. I mean not Trevor Ariza, Corey Brewer, Amar Shumpert. He's six six, long, athletic, decent jump shot, tough. He gonna be able to play right away in this league. And um Damon Jones, he could do a lot of things to see what he do. He's more athletic. And what I'm hearing that they may go out to Joe Kim Noah, um, Nicholas Patoon will be perfect for that team. If they don't get Kevin Durant. So, you know, they basically gonna reload. And another thing God oh, made me so happy about yesterday, when Larry Nash Jr. posted a picture of the uh, dinner when it was all the young guys there. And when Mitch said, you know, they had their little dinner and then all the young guys, all the old guys stayed to the side and the young guys went and they started talking, doing what they do, you know, all six of them. I, I, I was really glad about that. And then Ingram, that's why he kept saying it's a family atmosphere. He felt comfortable and things like that. <clears throat> I never knew the young guys attended the uh, meeting and uh, the dinner. And it shows something. That's why they need to the, uh, resign Clarkson, which they, they're going to do. And, you know, they keep hounding Russell about this cell phone thing. So Russell's showing that he wants a ball. He's he been training hard. He he went to the meeting. He's showing he want to be a part of this this organization. That's what we need. Them guys could have been doing anything. They young. They rich. They could have been doing anything. They ain't had to go to the meeting. Mitch just mentioned it to him. He said, "No." He said, "If y'all want to, y'all can go." But all six of them came, and they could be a big part of this team. I just think we need to add some veterans. Not old veterans, veterans like 30 and under, 20, I like, really like 28. I like those type veterans, 28, 29, I don't like 30, 33, and I don't want those type old guys like Matt Barnes and them. I want more like younger vets, guys who've been like seven years, stuff like that. But, um, Luke, very positive. I ain't really say much about Luke, you know, as far as him this team, but he's very positive. He was happy. He said Ingram was the guy he wanted. And, you know, he's sick about having fun. He ain't talk about winning no championships. He ain't really say much about defense, but, you know, I, I really like his energy. And that's what we need. And it's sad because, like I said, I've been a Laker fan for years. I, I was a big Byron Scott fan also. But Byron Scott always came off as negative. And, you know, if he first thing he's been, oh, he had to, I could pitch a Scott now. Oh, he got to work. He had to put in that work. Ain't nothing coming easy. He going to have to work for us, but he's going to have to earn everything, which is cool. It's cool. I understand people do have to earn it, but you don't come off like that. It's an exciting time. Just be happy. Don't come off negative. Let this thing ride. We got the second pick. We, we picked the um, stud. That's that. The guy, he speaks for himself. He, he said he want to work. All he do is train. He's a basketball junkie. 
So you don't have to say that. But um, yeah, I'm real proud of um, you know what we're doing, the young guys, what they're doing in the off season. I just feel we just need to do a couple more things, the chalk up. You know, have a plan, stick to the plan. So far, I've been working good. I want White Sox so bad. <laughs> it's like every day is just getting worse. Because I see, because he's 27, he's 26, 27, exactly what we need. I want an old veteran, and I'm looking at Noah like 33. I would take Noah to be my second choice. But um, exactly, I'm not crazy about him. But I think his price went down maybe more around like the 10, the 10 mark. A ten uh, million mark, which is cool. If we get a guy like him, you would get like an Al Jefferson as a backup, or Maurice Spates. You know, since we get a defensive guy, I always say if we get defensive guy like Noah or or Zeli or Biombo. I definitely want Al Jefferson or Maurice Spates as a backup. One of the two. Al Jefferson, even though I know he over 30, I think like 31, but a good post-up game. You know, when things get slowed down, and Maurice Spates fits right in with his nice little jump shot. But um, but we definitely need more athleticism. I think pick up like two, three more athletic guys off the bench, and I think we'd be good. And I uh, posted on my... Twitter, I asked, the, I opened it up for the guys. I said, would you trade Lou Williams for Corey Brewer and Patrick Beverly? I really, I think that trade can happen. The reason why I said it, Houston always want to be in the free agent market. During that trade, they gained about $5 million in cap space. So that extra $5 million they gained. And they just picked up a couple uh rookies and things like that. Um, I definitely think that's doable. And Lou Williams, 15, Mike D'Antoni, he scored a ton of points. And Patrick Beverly as backup point guard, his toughness, his defense, and Corey Brewer, his toughness, defense, Corey Brewer run the floor. That's a greyhound. Swimming that ball in the air, he's flying down the court. I really, really like that. I want Corey Brewer so bad. I want Marvin Williams. Couple players I want, but um, yeah, I think you know I'll get more into it when we get closer to the uh, free agency. Um, put up another blog, like I said, I had to throw something up right now. I'm a little tired, a little sick, but um, I'm happy, and I also want to give a shout out to all the Laker bloggers. You guys do a good job. Y'all knowledgeable. Yeah, nothing like them old Knicks fans. I'm from New York. <laughs> but I've been Knicks fans talking this Derrick Rose stuff and these outlandish trades that don't even make any sense. <laughs> they don't they ain't near knowledge with these Laker guys. So like I said, it's all love here. I support every um blogs. I subscribe to everybody, I show love. And you guys knowledgeable, I just wanna uh, let you guys know that. Keep up the good work. Peace out.